hey, thanks for watching my episode today, whatever it's called. Um, I'm going to start off by um, toning my face. Um, I just cleansed, and I used um, a cleansing um, cloth also. Um, I had my, there, there, there. let me get my cotton wrap. I got these um, new products that I wanted to show. Some were from Target, and um, a local drugstore was having... I'm going to use my Neutrogena Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astringent. And before this, I just used um, my Dickinson's Witch Hazel um, Astringent. It's supposed to like help clean and minimize pores or whatever. And I used that after my um, cleansing cloth, and then I washed my face with the L'Oreal 360 um, with apricot seed and the scrubber that comes with it. So I'm just trying to remove excess oil and dirt from my face. So I got some new products at my local drugstore. Wet and Wild was having a sale. Everything $1.99 was $1.29. So I found some lip glosses that I liked. Um, I was into lip gloss because I was really into CoverGirl. I still am. Um, their products, and I they had lip gloss, but they were like $5.99. And I was kind of like, oh, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> but, um... I was lucky enough to find those um, Wet n Wild lip glosses for one twenty nine, and I got um, a brush, an Elf brush. It's vegan, synthetic, and cruelty free. A bron it's a bronzing brush, um, and I got a matte lip color. And at Target, I also got their store brand acne lotion. So. I guess I'll just use this. So this is one of the new products I got. I really like it. I wore it on, sorry, I wore it on Sunday under, um, over my Axone prescription medication, I think, and I wore it with, um, my CoverGirl Outlast, um, Soft Honey and my CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Light. Um, foundation, and I wore it with like CoverGirl flamed out shadow. I used this powder foundation, and um, I also used this product yesterday, and I find it works really well. It it almost like absorbs oil, and it doesn't um. I'm all red. I've been eating a lot of spicy food, and so I kind of like, I was sitting in my chair, and I was eating, and I spilled food, and one day I didn't care about it, and I left it, and I guess it just gave me a rash. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This is um, really good. Um, it's inexpensive. It has salicylic acid 0 0.5 as an active ingredient, and yeah. So this is what my skin looks like after two days of using it. So I'm just going to, all I need is just one pump. So I'm just going to turn the thingy, turn the top, and dispense it onto my finger. And a lot comes out if you just do, like, one pump. And I'm just going to dot it all over my face. I'm going to put it especially where I have breakouts. And I repainted my nails last night with the CoverGirl um, XL Yellow Nail Polish. I think more came out. More lotion came out today.
So it feels really smooth. It's not oily. It feels really moisturizing. It feels fresh. It reminds me of um, the feeling of when I put aloe vera on my face, like aloe vera gel, how it's um, kind of like jelly type, like The feeling is kind of like thick hair gel. Like if you put your finger or you like you scoop out hair gel from a um, like a container pot. It feels like almost like that but with lotion. But it's not like an oily or thick lotion. It's like a creamy, creamy lotion. And yesterday I definitely felt like I had some acne medication on. Oh, now it's starting to tingle a little bit. So it's doing some goodness for my skin, I think, to help me prevent from getting blemishes. So I got this product just because I wanted to um, stick with my CoverGirl foundations because they're really good for people with oily skin or they're good. it's good for my skin and my perspective and I noticed that they don't really have any salicylic acne um, foundation so I thought I would get a store brand um, I thought I could try this um, moisturizer oh the moisturizer is starting to dry it feels oh I feel a tingling I didn't feel that the other day. It's not as tingling as the Clean and Clear. But yeah, at Target Clean and Clear was like 509 or something like that, but this one was for something. And since it was store brand, I just opted to get this version. This is what it looks like. I just decided to get this. Oh, I have some peeling going on down there. So I decided to get this one. And the container says, compare to clean and clear dual action moisturizer. Dual treatment moisturizer, oil free. Acne medication lotion with salicylic acid. Clears up acne pimples, moisturizes dry skin, multitask tastic up and up with an arrow and it makes my skin feel really good like it's not oily but it doesn't really feel like it 50% feels like a facial moisturizer but then 50% it just feels kind of like I just put some air on my skin like I use like a um uh, airbrush makeup thingy, that airbrush thinger, and like I sprayed some makeup on. Or no, like I sprayed air on my face. Yeah, it feels like I just sprayed some air on my face. And it has like a bit of a cooling sensation. But the cooling sensation, like, it isn't that strong. And I feel like it's a good moisturizer for all around my face. I got a little bit of sunburn. Now I'm peeling like everywhere down here. I guess that's what happens when you use acne medication. There's a lot of peeling that goes along. Whew, but oh well. Um, so I'm going to share the new products that I got. Um, the first ones, they were at... Um, my local drugstore. These are the Wet n Wild. I've already tried this pink one, Sweet Glaze. I think these are the vegan Wet n Wild lip glosses. I noticed that some had some lanolin oil um, and I didn't get those because I use the CoverGirl um, lip gloss, um, chapstick balm and that has lanolin in it. So I'm getting new into that category of the vegetarian makeup realm, and I really like those. 
Um, so yeah, I got this one. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Slick Sweet Glaze. And this is just a clear. And I think these are the vegan kind. And I looked on their website and some were vegan. That's a reddish one. And here's another pinky pinky one. And this one is like pink sparkle. And this is this is crushed grapes. <laughs> and so these are what they look like. Let me turn it around. So this is a pretty fun. And the next product I got, um, the next new one I got is this CoverGirl um, Turn Up the Heat Lipstick Smoochie Sizzle Gloss. I haven't used it yet. And the next product I got is this CoverGirl Flamed Up Mascara. I was looking for the Flamed Out Mascara, but I didn't know that they have the Flamed Up. So... This is an 800 Very Black Blaze, and it's um, Flamed Up Mega Curl Mascara Max Volume, and it's new. And it says, Flamed Up Mega Curl. The Curl Igniter Brush from CoverGirl is, specific, is specially designed to instantly curl lashes to help maximize volume and curl for bigger, fuller lashes. Used with flamed out shadow pencils and shadow pots to create a bold, hot look. So, that's fun. Um, and I also got this um, CoverGirl flamed out shadow stick. Um, it's the color Indigo Flame. And it's a shadow pencil. And this is what it looks like. And there's a big difference in the color, though. You open it up, and that's what the color looks like. I got a little makeup on there, but it's not as blue and bright as... Um, it's not as blue and bright as the packaging, which is a bit of a bummer, but... Oh, well. <laughs> And let me brush my hair a little bit because this is a um, Eco Tools. Um, all my hair is in there. Um, Eco Tools detangling brush, and I'm just gonna gently use this on my hair just because. It works really well. I want to go to my local store where they have the um, CoverGirl Shimmering Sands um, True Blend Blush. It's the mineral blush. I want to get that color. <laughs> I just like the name, Shimmering Sands. I love the beach. When I was little, I used to go to the beach. In the pool, I went to the pool a lot when I was a little girl. Okay. Okay, so I'll take care of my hair a little bit there. I'll be right back. Let me go wash my hands so I can do my makeup. And for the meantime, I guess... I can just focus you on something here. There. You can look at one of my boxes for a little bit. Okay. Washing my hands with a cruelty-free and eco-friendly soap. It's a Trader Joe's dish soap, but I ran out of soap a little bit. 
out. So I um I just um there you go. I ran out of soap. So I'm gonna grab my coffee. My coffee with sugar-free sweetener and soy milk. Okay, so I've used my lotion. Now I'm going to use my At Last Day Fabulous. Or let me use my Clean Invisible Concealer first. I'm gonna use it under my eyes. This is in the color light. I washed my Eco Tools and Elf makeup brushes the other day. Um, um, what I did was I bought a cruelty-free, no animal ingredient shampoo, um, like for hair at Trader Joe's. And I cleaned a bowl with my Trader Joe's eco-friendly um, dish soap first. Um, and then what I did was I cleaned um, the... brushes with, um, I put soap or, and water into the bowl and I just um, put my brush in and I would swirl them around um, and a lot of products came off but that's typical. Um, sometimes I like to use brushes just instead of like using a puff for my hands just to feel different throughout the day. I find that brushes give me a different feel than when I use my hands. Um, but some days I just like to use my hands. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of peeling going on. I got sunburned the other day. Hmm. Let's see what's going on with my skin. <sighs> Maybe it's from the mixture of using products and stuff. Okay, so my concealer just totally seemed to like disappear. Can you see it's like not on my visible on my skin anymore? Okay, so next I'm gonna use um, my CoverGirl Soft Honey. And I'm just gonna pump on my nose and I'll use my stippling brush my elf stippling brush sorry I didn't have it ready I tried to get stuff ready when I first started getting into makeup I was into um, like yellowy colors for some reason and I think it's because I have yellow undertones on my skin sometimes and I was really into the L'Oreal but the L'Oreal foundations I got they were darker for my skin color and I, I was so in love with the color like they, it was just the color that I so wanted and it was like 4.5 it was like goldish and it turned out to be a little too dark for my skin, so I bought an alabaster um, um, neutral that was on sale, like 50% off at CVS. And um, 
I tried to mix those two together and I thought I could mix it with my number W4 in L'Oreal True Match. And I've used the Infallible, which is really nice. It's supposed to be like the Nibbling Super Stay. And those foundations are just supposed to stay on for a long time, just like this um, CoverGirl Outlast. So I'm really glad that foundations have a yellow undertone to them because sometimes I do have yellow undertones. So, I have made makeup videos in a couple days. Or just makeup video vlogs. Okay, so... <laughs> Once that's blended in, I thought I had my mirror in here. Let me go grab um, a couple things and I'll focus you on something again. There. <laughs> Hope you like it! <laughs> Where are you when I need you, big mirror? You couldn't have abandoned me. Where are you, big mirror? Mirror. Where are you? My goodness gracious. I don't know where that mirror is. Is it in here? No. Okay. Well. I hope it'll turn up one day. I don't know where it is. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I finally picked up a matte lip color. This is by Elf Studio. It's in the color Natural. And I wanted to give it a try because it's like the um, 90s Revlon commercials that I really liked for their um, lipstick, so it, I got this one to try, it was like one or three bucks, and it should be vegan. So the next product I'm going to try is this um, flamed out um, eyeshadow pencil, I'm just going to Use the product like this. You can see my eyeball around there. That's what that looks like. Oh dear. Try to blend that out. I'm just gonna That looks okay. There, that looks pretty nice. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to try um, my Cover Girl True Blend um, Mineral Foundation. I wore this the other day. And I'm just going to tap it into. my brush I mean my cap I'm use about that much and I'm gonna um, use my new bronzing brush I got this brush because I needed um, like a brush for my um, CoverGirl bronzers. This is a eyeshadow, but the bronzers, they look like this, and I just wanted like a simple brush that I could just glide it across and just get a lot of product on my face. So, I'm going to um, use my eyelash curler. Let's see, when did I start using an eyelash curler? I started using an eyelash curler, maybe my first time was in middle school. I remember in middle school, I just got into seventh grade. And I just really liked black eyeliner. And ma like black mascara. So I did my eyeshadow, I mean my eyelashes. Okay, I'm just going to use this bronzing brush. This is a um, CoverGirl True Blend Mineral Powder Foundation. I'm just going to dip my brush in there. About that much. And I'm just going to dust this product all over my face. I feel so like girly and fresh when I use this. Computer, turn on. <laughs> so since I started using that um, lotion from Target and I used my makeup I feel a little like maybe the makeup sticks to my skin a little more just because it has something to stick to than actual skin because I guess our skin would just absorb um, like things like water and it would just kind of, the powder would just kind of stick to our skin and maybe like the products have something more to stick to like it can absorb the products or makeup products can abs be absorbed into the skin along with the foundation or no as long as as blah, 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 excuse me as long um like with the powder they the lotion and the makeup can be absorbed into the skin and it can look more natural maybe. So that's a good reason to use that Target. Um, or that's a good reason to use, or for me, that Target lotion, Target acne lotion. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, powder under here just because I kind of don't want two different colors going on on me. La 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 la. I guess this is when my Eco Tools large decollete brush, neck and decollete brush, would come in handy. Okay, so. 
I used all that up. That's the True Blend um, Mineral Makeup. This feels really good. I noticed that the first time I used this brush, it was a little bit coarse. Like, it's not that soft. But... I'm using this as a um, the correcting brush, I guess, the blending brush, and it's it's kind of soft, but it's not as soft as Deco Tools. Yeah, it feels a little bit coarse. And I was thinking maybe it's animal hair because it's so coarse, but I think I read online that it's synthetic. Okay, so there's the True Blend um, Minerals, Loose Mineral Powder in Light. And on the back here it says, Use alone or over liquid makeup for an instantly natural, healthy looking glow. So it contains mineral oil, it's not oil free. So I guess. Maybe if you use this in your oily skin, you might want to use the oil blotting tissue. Oh my lord! You might want to use the oil blotting tissue. Okay, next I'm going to use um, my CoverGirl blush, which is Pure Romance. I think I used this in the very first makeup video I did. <laughs> Or the second makeup video I did actually. So this didn't stick. So I'm just trying to get the product off. Okay, let me show you how shimmery it is. It's like really shimmery and glittery. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I painted my nails and painted my skin, but I thought I shouldn't worry about it because I found that it just naturally comes off. So. I googled online this morning for um, a lot of blush. Okay, so I got about that much, if you could see. I'm just going to pat this onto my face by the apples. And so I read online, or I found online that there's um, a Shimmer Sans eyeshadow and a Sea Glass eyeshadow. I wanted to try those. So that's what one side looks like, and this is the color Pure Romance, and do this side. I kind of look like I have a um, smoky eye. So I'm just going to use up this product that I have on the container. I guess I'll just use a lot of blush today. I'll just... This is one of the products that make you tend to smile. <laughs> wow, this is like two or three days worth of blush I'm going to wear. Oh well. There's trucks outside.
And I noticed that the shimmer sans eyeshadow, it's like really shimmery, kind of like the True Blend. These colors have a lot of shimmer to them, like they're kind of glittery. So if you wear them, they'll make you feel really, really girly because they have glitter. There's like literally glitter in the powder. Okay, let me show you if you can see. So I used up this blush here. And can you see the glitter in the cap? See a little shimmer? Can you let's see? See how it's kind of like glossy like that. I don't know if you could see it, but I wish you could. It's like glitter. There's like glitter speckles. Can you see? Like, I'll get closer so you could see. Okay. Let me close that right up. Let's see. Can you see that? See, that's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see it, but... La, 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 la. Okay. Um, I need the light because I need to put the powder puff back in. Um, let's see if you can see this. Can you see the sparkles on there? It's a bit sparkly like okay so there's a little in the cap here so I'm just gonna use the excess la, 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 la. looks like I should use a little um eyeshadow today I mean eyeliner. It's so early. Bear with me here. It's early in the morning. Okay. So that's the light and this is what it looks like. And let me look in my mirror here. And I'm going to put a little more concealer on just to cover up um, my blue eyeshadow, my flamed out eyeshadow. Let me conceal a little under my eyes with my CoverGirl Clean and Visible. I guess I need a little powder under there. I'm not using really like a mirror, I'm just using a reflection from the screen. So, this is what that looks like. If you can see, see let me try to get a glimpse of the sunlight maybe you could see see like right there like it's kind of shimmery and right there it has a bit of glitter to it so this is the medium and I've used some product in here and it looks like there's a little bit of glitter in there so, just telling you that these products have a little bit of shimmer glitter to them, so <laughs> they'll make you feel really girly.
and I need a little more. So I'll just use um, this CoverGirl Buff Beige under my eyes to set my concealer. I imagine this brush would be a really good brush for like on the go, like maybe if you want to do your makeup on an airplane or something. It's like really small and compact. Well, not too small and compact, but you could just take it out of the container and the container just like is this plastic thing. Um, it's pretty nice though. Is this it? No, that's a stick line brush. But it looks like this and it comes with a top case to it. Okay. So next I'm gonna just use my golden tan bronzer. This is why I got this elf bronzing brush just because I liked how it would um, contour my face pretty well. And I'm just going to use this golden tan. I noticed um, Rimmel um, Sun Bronze and Sun Light. But I thought I should stick to CoverGirl. So I'm just doing the kissy face. Kissy fish face. And bronzing. I'm gonna want to bronze around the temples. Gives my skin a golden tint to it. So I'm gonna use this down my nose. Just in areas where I'd like to highlight or seem bronzed. Okay. And next, I'll just use my flamed up eyeshadow. And this is 800 Very Black Blaze. And it looks like this. And I was really surprised the first time I saw this. Um, the eye wand. Look how big it is. It's like really, 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 really curved. It's like super curved and super thick. And I think it's um, more curved and thicker than the regular flamed out mascara. So I'm going to use um, my, I'll go up close so you can see here. I'm going to use my mirror just so I could see. Ow! I boo booed already. Oh! I'll fix that later. Okay, well, let's do it from back here because I can't really reach and see. I remember when I first tried mascara, I had to have been. Seventh grade, maybe. So that's one eye. 
and let me read it. The extra. Put that back there. So this is the flamed up mascara, not the flamed out. I guess when you use this on your bottom lashes, you should be careful because it's so thick and curved, you'll get your skin with the mascara. The black color. So. Yeah. I'm not going to be shy. Hey. <laughs> I'm not going to be shy with this today. I want to see how it Wow, I almost look like I have fake lashes on. Oh, cool. So that's the flamed up mascara. And I'm going to try this CoverGirl lip gloss and turn up the heat. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna push a little. A little came out. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on because. Getting more caffeine. But that's what it looks like, and I'm not wearing any lip liner. <laughs> so that's the look for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this makeup video, and I hope you'll keep watching more of my makeup videos, and I have. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I have a question for you. Um, what's your favorite type of toothpaste? And mine is Tom's, or um, the um, Cruelty Free Trader Joe's kind. Yeah. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye. Love you all. See you soon. Mm -hmm.